and welcome back folks we're at the sun also rises we're at le mans 24 minutes and we're using the red bull x 2019 competition this is post update so post 1.11 and i have been struggling with this one so for those that are struggling and that's the point of these videos i want to give make sure that you are fully aware of what's going on so that it gives you the best chance to to pass this test so as you can see there I was using the R18, but I'm going to use the Red Bull. The changes that we made from standard are running soft on the fronts and racing mediums on the back to make sure we can get three laps out of the rear tyres. And then we're just going to reset the aerodynamics to something like they were at default because I've been trying all sorts to get through the rain period in the middle of this race. So we have potentially rain at the end of the lap on the opening lap which you need to not worry about. Then we've got rain from three quarters of the way through lap three, where we're going to pit for full wet, and then we're going to race to the end. So here we go. Going to talk us through it. There's 24 minutes of this, and I appreciate if you don't want to watch it all, but for those of you who are struggling and need pointers, I will really try and be informative and help you through the process. So it's a very quick car, this. It really doesn't struggle with cornering but it does struggle with the output of the corner in my understanding so as we go around here I always coast around that down then changing down to third to apex of these corners and then we're going to attempt to pass these guys these two in front before the chicane before the hairpin sorry and then we're going to go around this fella on the outside the idea is we get behind the Merc on the there, the Merc up in front there, you can see him now, we get ahead of him as we go down the straight and we use his slipstream to pull us through. So this car's quite fuel efficient and because we know we're going to run into rain, when we hit rain I'm going to drop the lean mix to 6 and we're going to use less fuel. So for the first two laps we're going to go hell for leather and attempt to catch the lead group. So you can see here we're 35 seconds behind the leader, but we're closing in on 14th place. I've found here if you gun it occasionally you'll lose the back end here especially on the medium tyres. So max speed if you're using default aerodynamics is about 177 no 197 but now that I've just adjusted the aero a wee bit we break the 200. Now come a break at the last little chevron on the right hand side for this corner we might get a bit numpy bumpy here but don't worry about it folks the AI don't kick back too much so we're up into 12th 11th 10th this fellow number 10 likes to fight you occasionally I've probably done I think I've done 400 mile in this car to try and beat this test so coming down here we break on the apex there we go down to second again this is a circuit I've done many many laps on so you can see the rain coming, here comes the rain, it's going to rain all the way to the end of this straight, it's just going to put a splash down, as you can see there's about a sixth of the gauge on the water meter there, so you're alright with, with slicks, full racing tyres down here, we're up to 32 seconds behind the lead car, so we've already gained 3 seconds on them, down to second for this corner, it's a bit slippy now, but with traction control 1 it doesn't really break the rear tyres at this point point. then if we're going to accelerate out of this corner the next series of corners I like to change down 2 gears from 7th and buzz around them in 5th so we're going to accelerate up here and probably be in a position to go around the outside of this car going through these corners let's see what happens so down to 5th here we go yeah it's that beautiful Mercedes whiz around that one probably stay in fifth here probably change to fourth just to go around this corner there we go we're going to maintain control of the car as we go around these bends and we're going to tee up oh, a bit of a run over on the corner but i don't think we suffer from that we're going to tee up these two cars to pass them on or in the chicanes so we're going to get this one under braking there we go we're going to nudge Ooh, almost missed that apex but recover it we're going to get past this uh mclaren f1 short tail is it or a long tail it looks like a long tail so 
up into seventh place now, and we're 24 and a half seconds behind the lead pack. I say that, I think when we catch them, they're a group of three. But here we go, that's one lap down, 62% fuel. We're on track, 66% would have been good for a third. But here we go, just bezing around these corners. Fifth gear, just keep it under control. Occasionally lose the back end here, so I'm just always a bit cautious, but we can almost give this the full beans. There's a bit of a lift from a 1.8 up on my previous lap at this point, and there's the next target. That's the Rotary 787B, lovely sounding car, but it's very quick, very quick in a straight line. If you hang behind this guy, he'll actually pull away from you. So the idea with this fellow is to get ahead of him as quick as you can. And this one is also, it's very, very common for this guy to knock you off the circuit. So just be aware of that and just pay him a wide berth when you go past him. So here we go, bang up to cruising speed. We're going to try and get his draft. We'll see where we get to take him. I don't believe in ramming guys, but I think at the point where I've done this probably a dozen times tonight alone, we're just going to make our way past. We're going to break past him in the breaking zone. There we go, down to second for that apex. And then a quite leisurely acceleration away from there. Not full beans, but here we go, up to the corner. So we're coming down to him, we've got 44% fuel. We know in lap three, we're gonna back off and go to power six, so lean six. So let's not worry about that point. The fuel is good, tires look good. Down to second for this bend. We're gonna chase this fella down, looks like a Nissan. So we're gonna chase him down. Mr. R. Caspel. And we are now 13 seconds behind, so we've made a bit of progress coming up there. I think Mr. Campbell has an off, which delays the two up front. And that's that's the issue, because I've been up with them on other races, because it didn't have the rain in the first cup, in the first lap. So that kind of slowed us down a wee bit, but here we go. Sun's drawing down now, so we're gonna go into the third lap and we're gonna start to lose the light. And then it's going to rain on the third lap. So here we go, 34% fuel. But we're not going to worry. We're just going to keep the foot down. Seventh gear, we're going to go around this left hander, then we're going to change down to fifth. And we're now 10 seconds behind the lead pack. Here we go, fifth gear for that corner. Coming up against this Portuguese fella in this lovely sab. Oh, we just managed to sneak past him there. And there we get our first fuel warning. 0.8 of a lap, so... Again, don't worry about that. Oh, back end twitch there. Here we go, and away. Coming up to Keynes, and there they are. There's the lead pack. We know we're in touch now. Nobody goes in for fuel, so we've still got all three cars out front. Actually, one of the cars is six seconds out, so it's just a group of two. Let's go, let's go. Keep it steady. Don't worry about the power. 0.7 of a lap of fuel. Past the Jaguar. He gives us a touch. Naughty, naughty. We managed to resist that and keep that under control. Here we go. Four seconds behind the lead car with 1.2 seconds behind second place. So let's talk strategy now as we go around here. You know what you're doing. The aim is to stick with this pair until we get to the pits because we know they're going to take intermediates and I'm taking a risk here taking full wets but I want to go faster in the wet and then I want to manage the finish to the end so I can keep them behind me if I drive it sensibly right I've now changed out the fuel free because my fuel's gone down to 20 and I'm just gonna tail these guys as much as I possibly can if I get in the lead all well and good but I'm going to try and conserve fuel. I give him a bit of a nudge, which is unfortunate for my clean race record, but no damage done. So here we go, traction control's fighting now, and it's as we go around here that the rain is going to start. So we are behind the lead pair, and we've got the opportunity to go past, but we're just going to manage that fuel, 16%. When we get to pits, we know they're going to have just under half the fuel, because they've not had to go the beans like we have, so they're going to drive for the finish. And it's about now I'm going to tell you that there's a glitch in the end of this game. And I actually managed to do an extra lap because I think I go much faster than the planned time. 
but unfortunately those guys don't do the extra lap so here we go seventh gear 195 mile an hour using this slipstream to help us run down we've got 10 percent fuel left to do half a lap so we're on fuel six now and we're just going to coast up with this fella it hasn't started raining yet that's how quick we're going if you manage your fuel to try and make the fuel last yeah, the rain starts well early but the rain's starting now so with power at lean six we know we're going to keep traction tires look really healthy on the uh, mediums on the rear just going to coast through this corner. i'm not that bothered about letting him go at this point i'm not going to pressure myself one of my mantras from the lessons prior you guys know if you drive within yourself if you stay cool calm and collected you've got this the moment you tense up you start to panic you start to get a bit nervous that's when you lose them remain confident and just keep on plucking so we're ahead of the guy in third obviously but we're keeping the guy in front within a couple of seconds now it's going to get hairy it's pissing down excuse the french and we are here we go the back end's going to twitch we're on slicks it's never going to be good in the rain but they're going to have to slow down as well because they're on slicks as well there we go it's now absolutely banging down we've got four percent of fuel but we're good we just need to keep this under control and um, i think we lose the back end we come up on this fella here and we're on the curbs we're just going to stick with him through this chicane through this chicane just going to maintain it as we are the back end's got really twitchy here we go we're running into the pits in second place with the third right behind us so we know though they're not going to take as much fuel as us so we're going to chase the full wets and then we're going to come out of the pits chasing them guys we had five percent fuel they're on 29 and 47 percent so they're going to be well out in front of us they they don't need to take that much fuel there's three laps of the race left so they need to take about 60 percent maybe 70 percent fuel I think the guy in first place, he could actually take 53, so we would only have to need to refuel. I don't know, best part of 6%, and he's good to go. So we're now fueling. So the guy in first place has changed ties to intermediates, and he's away at 87%. We're away on wets, and we're in third. So the guy in second got away as well. And here we go, up to fifth gear, full power on lean. We've kept the traction control on one. So we've not messed with traction control at all. I've tried that, I've tried putting traction control to five and it doesn't work. Just gotta watch that crest there as you run around the corner and just be a little bit cagey. What you'll realize in the wet is these guys will not go full beams for about half a lap. So as we come around these corners, just managing your speed, we will be able to get round this corner to the right and then give it the beans and chase them down. Let's just get round these corners, hit the white line, keep the white line between the front wheels, that, and then move across to the centre line. Go round these guys, there we go, well done. Keep pushing. Now we can give it the beans, and away we go. The rain's backing off a bit, but the rain is at two thirds on the rain gauge, so that means full wet's required if you're on intermediates you're going to run slower unless you're a demon of a driver of course but here we go break it down to this corner very cagey in a second run it round they're following us but if we can just break out a little lead we're already five seconds ahead manage your speed on the acceleration get across to that center line and run the center line now here i make a mistake because i catch up so quickly on this slow ferrari we're going to come down here. I'm going to wander slightly to the left. I can see the blue lights. I can see the headlights. He's in front of me. Whoa, I hit him. But then we're still seven seconds in the head. I think he's sideways in the track. I've probably spun him completely. But that'll give us the advantage. Yet we're ten seconds ahead. They've had to stop and avoid that car, which worked out for us. But they're then going again. Back to six seconds. We completely blow that corner. I've got nervous. I've tensed up. And that's how you wreck it guys but here we go keep going so up to 10 seconds in the lead going to keep to the center line 
going to keep accelerating. We've only used 8% of the fuel at this point. And this is what I mean about you only have to manage your fuel in the rain. Coming down here, we're going to right hand turn. We're going to brake early. Just lift off. Don't use too much brake. Use the gears to slow down. Second gear around this corner. Manage the acceleration. Don't accelerate on the curb too much. Get back to the centre line and power on through. It's awesome. It, this this has been a fantastic test. It's took me three days and probably you have to say 400 miles to get this done. I've had to do two oil changes in the Red Bull, but here we go. The rain's backing off now. It's starting to ease up. The rain gauge has just dropped below two thirds. So. What we realise is the cars behind are now going to start to gain the advantage. We're 17 seconds in the lead. And there's 9 minutes 35 to go. If you look at the lap times, I'm hoping at this point, after this, there's two laps to do. We're talking 7 minutes. If we're doing 4.30s, 7 minutes plus the rest of this lap, maybe 2 minutes. No, now I can look at it. We're actually looking at 3 laps. So what we're going to have to do... We can see there 80% fuel. So if we get to the end of this at 75% fuel, we know we've got to run this in lean all the way to the end. Because we need to only use 25% fuel. I've got a 19.5 second lead. So we can afford a little bit of backing off, but we don't know how much. What we do know is those guys behind us didn't take full fuel loads, did they? So if we have to go three laps, they've got a pit. But how are my wets going to be able to manage three laps? In fact, they would have done four laps because we did three on the socks. So let's see how we go, though. Let's see where we're at. We need it to stay wet, don't we? So through the chicanes. And we're coming to the end of this lap and we've got 86% fuel. Now here's the other thing, I know one of my friends have got a 24 minute 5 second lap time finish. So that means he did it in 6 laps. I wonder how he did that, oh, got a nudge past that GTR, here we go. So we're 20, 20 second lead still, watch this crest, that curb on the left is very spinning. Oh the guy in second place has pitted. He's pitted on intermediates with 73% fuel. So that's great for us. It takes 40 seconds approximately, slightly more to pit. The guy in fourth place has pitted. The guy behind us hasn't pitted. Interesting. The guy in third place hasn't. The guy in fourth place hasn't. Hmm. It's all starting to open up now. We've got a suitably distinct lead. 19 and a half seconds. We've put the power back up now to two because we've got more fuel than we anticipated. We should have been at 75% if we're going to run three more laps. Car in front, wandering about all over the place. Let's get it past him and get break down for this corner. We're back up to 21 seconds almost. Now, if you were to ask me, do I feel comfortable at this point? I'm still going for it. I still feel I need to push because I don't know how my tyres are going to go. Let's have a look at them now. So the wet indicator is at half, so it's still wet intermediate at this point. I think wets are going to start to degrade, I think, and that's what we've got on. So I'm just starting to see the red lines appear at the top of the tyres. So that means that the water's backing away. Tyres are starting to overheat. They're starting to wear, but we'll have to see. If, if we have to pit, we have to pit. So... Oh matey there, it, he's 16 seconds behind us, so just down that straight you gain 4 seconds. So we're 17 seconds up now. Can't see him where he is in the indicator, top right hand corner. Down to this corner, back up. We've gone up to fuel mixture 1 because I can see him catching us. But we're doing okay on fuel, we're at 72%, 71% now. So as you blast on down here, we're thinking about being at the finish line for 50% fuel. We're 16 per seconds in the lead. Tyres are good, 65% fuel. Just being a bit cagey now, we're backing off trying to save fuel. 
and then we're changing down on the gears just to try and make sure we don't slide off the corner now at this point in the race I'm thinking it's definitely going to be two laps to go look there's five minutes 21 we're going to pass the time at the end of the lap at about the four minute mark maybe slightly less and then we're going to have to unless I can back off and slow this race down I need to slow it down by about a minute so that there's no second lap no lap seven but I don't think I can do that because I'm only 16 17 seconds ahead here we go down to fifth for this corner just keep it under control we don't want it stepping out we don't want to spin out and go onto the grass it's almost impossible to get going again and in the wet here what we can see now is a real dry line starting to appear three quarters of the width of a dry line of the track go just brushing the corners so here we go we're coming up to the end of lap five now the tires have just still got that distinctive red line but the indicator for the water on the track is now down to the third bar and we can see there that that means that the intermediates are now going to get their advantage so here we go 15 seconds in the lead past the start finish line we'd have to do a lap in four minutes 15 to win this uh, be interesting he's now 15 seconds just under 15 seconds behind us oh we've missed that apex we've missed that one but we've managed to rescue it so let's keep going at this point you just need to keep it under control so where i think i've made my mistake in this is if i'd have pitted and i believe the guy behind us would need to pit anyway if I'd have pitted, we could have won this in the pit lane, maybe. I don't know, I wouldn't like to try it. Maybe that's how you win this race, or winning a race in the pit lane. Is that a trophy, I wonder? I might actually redo this, see if you can actually finish the race in the pit lane. Is that the answer to beating your friends on the on your friends list? Not 100% sure. There we go, bezing down this straight again, changing down, and we've got 48% fuel, so we're well on for our target fuel economy. We needed 50% to do two laps, and we're there, we're good. Tyres, we've got red bars on the top of each tyre, so the wets are performing well, but the water level is still at that intermediate state, where intermediates have an effect. We're 12 and a half seconds in the lead. We can still afford to lose at this point six seconds a lap, so I'm not feeling pressure. I know he's going to keep coming because he's on better quality tyres than us. Our tyres are starting to hot up. Those rears are starting to now show where. 41% fuel. We've got enough for 1.4 laps. So we're doing good, folks. We're okay. We're still running in lean mixture one. We're not slipping tremendously because we've got traction control one on that light keeps flicking on it does there we go the water gauge is now going down it's below that uh, one third indicator which means now slicks are a very viable option 10 seconds in the lead there's one minute 51 to go with the race and if we cross the start finish line before that one minute 45 now we have to do another lap 11 seconds in the lead he's catching we're still keeping some good lap times though as the fuel 33 percent almost missed that apex we got 1.2 laps of fuel the rears are now lit up they were on fire then coming out that corner Oh dear, so what do we do? Do we pit and take slicks? Or do we carry on? Do we pit and take 10% of fuel? And then give it the full beans all the way on slicks? This is the decision you've got to make. I'm not. I've almost, there I go, I've got a lap left of fuel. I've, if I need 25%. My tyres on the rear really took a beat in that lap but I'm gonna go for it the water indicator is down at six that means slicks are on and he's eight seconds behind us can I keep him behind us I don't honestly know oh I've oh, brought it back there we go 
So we go one lap of fuel, we've got 28%. Seven second lead. He's pitted. The guy behind in second place pitted on 33% with intermediate tyres. Oh. And this is the bit I don't get. He pitted with one lap to go. If he's going to pit for 40 seconds, we don't stand a chance. Or he doesn't stand a chance. Everything's on our side. So I've got 25% left of fuel. I've got rear tyres going off. Fronts are good. It now says final lap. So that's the timer gone. That's the timer done. The guy in third place has pitted and we're 40 seconds ahead. So it is 40 seconds for a pit stop. He's finished. The guy in third's finished. How have they finished? They've got to do an extra lap. Ah, and it's at this point I realise... I've got my traction down, I've put my traction control down to five. Purely because my back tyres are cooking. I've put the power down to six. And I'm just going to coast my way to the end because everybody behind me is crossing the line and finishing. Because you finish at the 24 hour point crossing the line. So I'm doing an extra lap here that I don't need to do. So have I made a blatant mistake? Are my tyres going to die? I've got 14% fuel. There we go. Power I've put down to 6 now. I'm coming up behind this Ferrari. He's on his... He's on lap 6, I think, or lap 5. Not sure. But at this point, I'm... I'm confused. Because I think what's going to happen is if I'd have pitted in, I'd have pitted, then crossed the line, I'd have won the race in the pit lane. And I think this might have been a place where you find out that's how you win that trophy, is it a trophy? Now look behind me. There is a rather fancy looking Nissan that doesn't want to overtake. And I don't know why, because he's just going to unlap himself. I think he's the car in 13th place. Oh, and just to point out, we got fastest lap here, 324.498. That's not the fastest lap I've ever done on this track, in this race. I've done a 320 before. But there's the guy behind us. He's not wanting to overtake us. How are we doing? Tyres down to 50%. The wet track's almost dry. We've got fuel at 9%. Now, I really haven't done this because I like the sound of my voice, guys. I wanted you to see it at real time. I have to confess, I did have to go online and look at a couple of videos to try and see how people have done it, but I could only find controller guys. So for those that you know and who've watched my videos, you'll know I'm a wheel user. Um, generally, I try and get these missions done in all of them off the circuit here. The back tyres are down to 60% worn. You, know, you guys know what I'm up to. I, I do it. I really complete the missions within two or three attempts. There's only been the drift missions. Which, to be honest, is all I've got left now of the of the missions to do. I've got all, oh, and I've lost it. I've put it off the track, but we're good. Everybody else is finished. I've just got to get that recovered. The rear tyres have really gone off. I've got 0.2% of fuel, like six percent. I've just got to make it to the line. Nobody else is racing me, so we're good at this point. I've got to break down and slow down for these two corners. Yeah, so if you know me, thank you very much for watching. Just a massive shout out to those people that have subscribed. Thank you very much, folks. It really is appreciated. Thank you very much. And uh, this takes us to the end. We crossed the line in first place. And, and that wins us the gold. So that's seven golds now I've got in the what would have been the final tier of the missions. Although they've added a new level today. But there you go, friends list, they've reset the list, so quite disappointing that they've reset. I think they might have reset everything, I'm not sure. But here we go, this is the end, folks. I'm not going to show you the replay. Just going to load up now, and there it is. We don't get to see a friends list. It's just me at the top, first after seven laps. Thank you, folks. All the best, take care. Thanks again for subscribing. We'll see you on the next one. Bye now.